All right, guys, we are now on episode two of the BMW Sound System Project. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm, I'm installing some subwoofers, and what I got was these match subwoofers. I heard some decent things about them. I'm going to try them out. Um, if I don't like them, I will return them, and I'm going to try some different ones out. They come two in a box. I think I got them on eBay for like 200 bucks or something around that. But I'll link in the description down below everything I'm using in this video, so that way if you need anything, you can just check the description. All the links will be there and take you right to it. Also, they are Amazon affiliate links, so if you if you do click it, same cost cost you the same price, but it gives me a kickback if you buy it. So if you found this video helpful, maybe use my links to buy the stuff if you if you feel like being a super cool dude. Um, but anyway, so I opened the match subwoofers. There's comes two in a box. They're eight inches. Um, they feel super super light and super cheap, to be honest with you. They seem very budget. They're they're of the lower end price wise, and I think you probably get what you pay for. Um, I've never felt the ghost subwoofers that Bab Sound makes, but first impression wise, uh, it doesn't feel good quality wise. Um, but sound could be a whole different thing. I guess we'll see. Three days later. So now when I opened them, I was super surprised at how like light they felt and how cheap they felt. I thought they were going to be a decent uh, speaker and they still could be possibly. I don't know. I never hooked them up. Match claims that they are plug and play speakers for your underseat subwoofers in the BMW and they are not. For them to be plug and play, the harness has to plug into here and it doesn't. It's just regular speaker terminals and I don't want something that I, that's not reversible for my car. My thinking is I want my, I want my stuff to be reversible so if I do ever sell the car, I can just take the speakers out and put the stock, stock speakers back in and then sell it as is stock. So um, the match does not work for me at all. But I went and bought um, Bab Sound, the ghost ones, the ghost under, under, and that's this right here. These are the new ones. Um, now, normally the, the old ones are black. Um, I asked them, I sent them an email after I got them. I said, usually the ones I see are black, what's this? And these are like a new uh, redesigned version that can handle like more wattage apparently or something like that. They're better than the black ones apparently. Um, I mean, they're still black on the back here, but the front is like this, uh, grill which looks really cool granted you'll never see it <laughs> it's gonna be under the seat but it's still cool um, and just when I unbox this and I felt the difference this feels so light and cheap and and brittle and this just feels so solid and chunky and it's just like it just feels so much better quality does that mean that it's gonna sound better no but just in regards of heft wise and uh, durability I, I would assume it's gonna be a lot better matter of fact hey come here okay so I'm doing a video uh, comparing subwoofers um, for the BMW that's pretty neat up there that the thing oh the microphone okay so I need you to do is hold on to them and just give me what you think when you first uh, when you when you grab them what you, right. when you hold on to them here I'll hold your cigarette thingy what do you think this feels like garbage which one? This one right here. Why? It's light. It's light? real light. Yeah, it doesn't really have much of like, uh, it's just super light. Oh, an apple. Oh, 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 look at that. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, what about, uh -oh. The way they're, what about the way they're built? Like, do they look, does one look better at all to you? Or this anything? one looks clean. Yeah. You know? this, this, this looks like I can poke a hole through it. Hey, watch them hand gestures, buddy. Connor, hey, come here. You get, you, you know. Come hold these subwoofers and tell me what you think of them. Compare them. What do you think is better quality? Here, we're filming right here. Come in front of the camera. They're under they're under seat subwoofers for the BMW. These are light. These are heavier than these ones, so these ones feel like they'd be more sturdier yeah. than these ones. All right, brother. All right, appreciate it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install these subwoofers. And also with like the before and after, I think like I have the standard hi-fi or like the the 676, whatever that's, uh, I think it sounds good. And I read on the forums all the time, like people are like, oh, the stock hi-fi is garbage and it's, like I don't know what these are they rolling around in Rolls Royces and then just go down to some some lowly BMW with <laughs> I think it sounds amazing and the base is really impressive it really is um, for what it does for the eight inch under under seat subwoofers it's really impressive actually um, so I don't know what to expect out of this um, I'm not going to expect too much from just replacing the subwoofer I think the real difference is going to come when I install the amp that will be that will make the real difference in to where you can really hear a difference. But either way, we'll do a before and after kind of sound test with the with the subs, and then I'll give my uh, impressions as well. What you're gonna do, there's gonna be four bolts on your seat, two in the front, two in the back, they're all T50 bolts. Also, please excuse my car, it's filthy. And there's a reason for that. Don't think I'm just some trailer trash guy that eats SpaghettiOs all day, even though half of that is true. Carpet, there's no excuse, I, I need to just vacuum it. But the seats, I'm letting it get very dirty because I'm doing a whole video reviewing different interior cleaners, like chemical guys and stuff like that, comparing different brands. So that's why I'm letting the seats get all dirty. So excuse that if you can.
So one of the other things I did for this project is I wanted to sound deaden the panels, the metal panels underneath uh, where the plastic subwoofer housings were. So I pulled those plastic subwoofer housings out and I put down some sound dampening. Um, I use this really, it's really good stuff apparently. And I usually use Dynamat Pro, uh, but I ordered this stuff, it's like Noiko or something like that. Um, but there's like different millimeter sizes and I'll, I'll link down below the exact um, one sound deadening stuff I got. It was like 40, 50 bucks for a whole big, huge box of it. Um, I'll link that down below. And it's like the exact same thing as Dynamat Pro feels like to me. But I put some of that on the metal under floor, whatever, of the BMW, just to do an experiment. Um, and I did some audio before and after doing that. So I'm gonna show you that. And then I'm gonna show you an audio comparison of the stock speakers compared to the BAV sound speakers. That way you can kind of hear for yourself and make your own judgment. But I wouldn't assign too much validity into hearing audio through your earphones or your speakers in your laptop that's through YouTube compression from a microphone on my end. Granted, I do have like professional audio equipment, so it's better than like a cell phone camera or something like that, but it's still not as good as hearing it in person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you both results and then the before and after, and then I'm gonna kind of give you my opinion. Okay, so you heard the test for the sound deadening. Listening to it over the microphone, it doesn't sound like much of a difference. And it really isn't that much of a difference in my, from what I heard. Um, the only thing, that initial, like when the bass hits that initial punch, um, it gets it gets like evened out. So where that initial punch isn't there, like that hit, that first vibration, the burr, when it, it's like a woo versus a burr to me. That's what it sounds like. Um, but that's just, that's just my personal opinion, and that's how it sounded to me. And that's just that one song. So I don't know, it, it could differ across all spectrums. I don't know. And now this is the before and after sound test from the stock subs to the bad sound. Big smoke cloud, feeling like I'm in it. Can't bring a good word, you can call me the rap. And if you do flow shit, then you just a flow nigga. And if you talk like this, then you just a raw nigga. Mix it all up, heavy yard in the head. Yeah. Money is the root of all evil, sometimes we get weak. Yeah. Yeah. Ride them all day, feel like I've been sitting all week. Yeah. So that was the sound test. The microphone and camera were at the exact same audio settings for both tests. I made sure of that and I didn't alter the audio at all. So you're getting like a raw cut of both. Now in my, my opinion, there's not a huge difference really. And I wasn't expecting a, too much of a difference. I, I, from what I understand, the real difference is gonna be when I install the amp, that will be kind of a night and day experience. So that's what I'm looking forward to. But anyways, thanks for thanks for being here for episode two of this. I appreciate you guys for watching. Any questions you have, throw them in the comment section down below. Any advice you have, throw it in the comment section down below. I appreciate all that stuff. Um, I love I love the feedback. It really helps with everything. Also, the next episode will be here in a few days. The last episode of the well, maybe the last episode of the BMW Audio Project. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye.